any attempt to explain or to to tell you where they came from? No, no. No one is the least bit interested in letting everybody know all the facts. They want to give you the minimum information that's necessary to complete your task. So you're not getting the story of where they came from. You're not getting the story of what, how much progress other people are making. You just focus on the small component. But they gave you some indication that they've been working on these for a while? Yeah. When do you think they acquired these? I really couldn't say. I think they've been around for a while. So they bring you into this room. You see this reactor working. You you realize this is nothing that, as far as like the scientific community at, at current time, has the ability to create. What we is, still don't. What is your life like from that moment on? Is that where everything changes? Because you, do you? Re, I mean, I, I would imagine the moment you actually make contact with something that's extraterrestrial, whether it's an object or a being, something where you can actually absolutely be certain it's not from here. Your whole paradigm, the whole world you live in, is now a different place. Well, this is the only time it became exciting. You know, the rest of the time, it was really an, an ominous feeling being at work. But it, at that time, it was exciting. I mean, this was, now I knew we were on the absolute beyond, actually, beyond the cutting edge of science and i was i was so absolutely excited to be there every single time i was um you know it, 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 this was a fantastic opportunity and um however in, in short order it began to concern me we really have no idea what we're talking about and the excitement kind of turned to dread at some point because the amount of power we're dealing with is astronomical. I mean, to affect gravity, to produce the effects like this equipment does, takes huge amounts of power. And I've given the um, example before of, you know, taking a small portable nuclear reactor and, you know, putting it back into Victorian times, you know, with the scientists of the time, and just dropping it in a room. And they come and look at it and see that it's producing power and wonder how it works, so they start taking it apart. And as soon as they get some of the shielding off, the people are going to drop dead because of the radiation inside. Now, the people have no idea that e radiation even exists back then, but anybody that comes in to check on them will also drop dead. And, you know, there's no reason that that exact scenario couldn't happen with what we're dealing with. We have no idea how the physics operate within this thing. The power levels are, are, like I said, astronomical. Like, it's incredibly dangerous to tinker with something like that. And, you know, in some respects, we were guinea pigs. Just try to find out how to make this thing. So they had had a series, as far as you surmised, they had a series of different scientists try to back engineer this thing, try to figure out what this thing was, and they would bring in new people and, like, let's throw Bob at it. Yeah, yeah. And they know, I know I don't know how many, but I knew there was certainly one before me, and I knew he died during the analysis of the or the uh, reactor itself. And you don't know how many have worked on it, and no one gave. This any could have been there for fifty years. It could have been there for five years. When they're giving I, you instructions, what are they saying? Like wh when they're giving you direction, they're showing you all this stuff. Like what? What? Are, what are they saying? What specifically? What are they asking of you? Well, essentially what they ask is, is what I said. All, we are just to gather as much information as possible, find out how it operates, and see if we can duplicate it. So, But they never I was told really, you where it was from. They never let you ask questions about where it's from. Well, if the information I read in the briefings was accurate. Now, what I do have to say is the information that pertained directly to the reactor was accurate. What I read did... I mean, did jive with reality. Um, in terms of how? In terms of how it was made, how what we saw, how it operated, the materials, how it, you know, turned on and what was discovered uh, uh, discovered about it. <laughs> I'm sorry. The migraine is really making it hard for me to think here. Sorry. No, um, we, we talked that before the podcast. You tell everybody Bob was getting a migraine. I know you're very stressed out by this, which is one of the reasons why I appreciate you doing this. Um where was I already? We were talking oh, about right, the, where you um, explained it. And uh, 
So there was some paperwork that indicated that this was from the Zeta Reticuli star system. Now, yeah. Now, right. how they obtained that, I haven't, I haven't the slightest idea. But it wasn't just from the Zeta Reticuli star system. It was what they called ZR3. So it was a third planet in that star system. So there was no other information about it other than that's supposedly where the craft came from. Now, is that true? I don't know. I have no way of verifying that. But that was printed in the same materials that referenced the reactor. Now, I looked that stuff up when I went home. And uh, Zeta Reticuli is a binary star, um, two stars that orbit, orbit one another. And it's only visible in the southern hemisphere, and it's about 30-some-odd light years away. So that's literally all the information I have about that. I don't know how they found out. It came from there. And you also probably have some suspicions that they give you some disinformation like you were talking about before. Where they would, yeah. Yeah. To, I mean, if you ever decided to talk about this, they added a bunch of nonsense to make whatever is factual look ridiculous. Right. Or be able to trace it down. Like, okay, this fax came out and, you know, this Lazar guy said it can't. You know, came from Zeta Reticuli, so they knew it was. Would when be you me. read Zeta Reticuli, we were like, "What in the fuck is this?" Well, reading all of the stuff, it was, "What right. in the fuck is this?" You're like, "Why did I sign up for this?" Like, what, no, no, what, it would, to me, this was cool. This right. was interesting. I said, I was just excited to be out in a secure area, you know, in the middle of the desert. I said, "This right. is awesome." I How love old are you it, at you the know? time? I get as in my twenties. Yeah, so you're probably like, totally geeked out. Oh yeah, it's th- this was. This was great. I mean, I, I was excited. So I didn't care. I'm reading through everything. and So yeah, you read through all the Zeta Reticuli thing, but then when you see the actual starship with the little American flag sticker on it. Well, I that think, was. Was that later or before? That, that was before. So before. So you see the thing before and you say, oh, this is American. Wait, what's that before? Hard. I, so many years. Yeah, I can't. Either way, it doesn't matter. The days have fused together. It's so hard to separate what happened in each visit to Do the place. Do you remember the thought process when you read that it's from Zeta Reticuli? Yeah, it 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 didn't hit me like a ton of bricks or anything. It was just like, yeah, okay. And, you think it was uh, bullshit? I don't know. You just were I like, don't. Okay. now I don't. I mean, because when I right. read it, I hadn't verified anything, and this was just a bunch of stuff I was reading, and I thought maybe after this they're just going to give me a test and see what I can remember in right. crazy information, and right. then it would. But um, like I said, when I finally went in with Barry um, and had hands-on experience with what they were talking about, it took on a completely different meaning. 